So there are a few more iPhones that are probably going to be removed this year, which is so insane. Typically every single year we see a few different iPhones end up getting removed, some things kind of changing out within Apple's you know, lineup and everything. So as of right now, what's kind of the iPhones that are looking to be removed? I think there's going to be three of them, but I think there's going to be one that could be removed and one that could stay, which I'll talk about in a second. But the first obvious iPhones that are probably going to be removed this year are the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now these iPhones are the more expensive iPhones that Apple makes and Apple typically very, I don't think they've ever even kept any Pro models or more expensive thousand dollar plus iPhones after the release of the next ones. So it makes sense. I don't think Apple's going to change anything with that this year. So they're going to go ahead and basically sell off the remainder iPhone 14 Pros and iPhone 14 Pro Maxes that they have. And then they're pretty much going to go ahead and once the iPhone 15s come out, they are going to completely remove the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. They are probably still going to end up selling them in the certified refurbished market. And you can always still buy them in the used market as well. But Apple is probably no longer going to be keeping those things around. And they are pretty much going to be selling those things off. And that is going to be the end of the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max in that standpoint. Now, furthermore, the iPhone that is probably going to get removed, it's kind of insane, but I think the iPhone 13 mini is probably going to be one of those iPhones that are probably going to be removed. Now, there's a chance where the iPhone you know, 13 mini stays, but I think if I had to think of one iPhone that is probably going to get removed, it's probably going to be that iPhone 13 mini. And there's a chance the iPhone 12 that is exactly the same exact price tag could also end up getting removed as well. We really don't know as of this point, but if I had to kind of guess, I would probably state that the iPhone 12 is going to stay, maybe even drop down at $499, and then Apple's going to basically go through and then essentially sell the iPhone or just sell off the remainder iPhone 13 minis, and then that's going to be it. They're no longer going to be selling the 13 mini, and that is basically going to be the ending point of the 13 lineup, which is kind of insane. They're still going to be selling the iPhone 13, but the mini lineup in particular is basically, that's it. You know, I don't think they're going to make another mini iPhone as far as we can tell, and that's going to be kind of a sad thing, but again, it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it, and that's basically where we are at as of right now. Now, the iPhone 12, like I said, Apple could end up selling it. You know, they could end up not, they could end up removing it. So it's, we're just going to have to kind of keep our eyes peeled in that sense. But I do think with a phone like the iPhone you know, 13 mini, for example, it's a great iPhone. I'm, uh, I'm in love with it. The 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max are also very good iPhones. But those are pretty much the ones as of right now that we know of that are probably going to get discontinued. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.